hell and I can't even find adequate descriptors. You mentioned in my introduction, I've been doing this for 41 years. When I started out in undergraduate school, and this is my first state psychiatric hospital, it, it was very much like what Clifford Beards describes in his book from 1908. Um, there were still stone cells with iron bars on the doors, the patients' rooms, and there were shackles literally hanging from the walls. And this was in 1964. When we were successful in the deinstitutionalization movement in this country, what our association did was write every state in the country and ask them as they closed these uh, these institutions to send us all their shackles and chains. And many did. And when those uh, were received, we went to a local smelter and created our own version of a whiskey bell smelted out of the iron and bronze of those chains and those shackles. So that's what that bell symbolizes. And I'm currently working on a new byline for our organization that will go something like from shackles to well-being, Mental Health America's continuing quest uh, for this country. Um, because when you listen to Janie's story this morning, the shackles of her life experience very early on were as real and tangible for her and her development and her growth and her ability to live as a healthy, functioning, productive human being, she was shackled by virtue of that experience. So the shackles are different today. The, the, the shackles of old become kind of the metaphor for what it is that you know, we have to confront today.